welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Well, we are circling back towards the biggest news of the hour, which is the victory, the huge diplomatic victory for Indians. The former eight Indian Navy personnel detained in Qatar have been released by Qatar coach. Now, seven of them have already returned home is what we are learning. The government of India has welcomed the release of these Navy veterans, seven out of them, uh, out of eight of them actually have returned to India. We'll bring you more details about the 8th one. Uh, we have seen in News 18's Abhishek Jha joining us back on the broadcast. Abhishek, uh, just if you could uh, quickly give us details about the 8th one. When exactly will he be coming back? Why is he still there in Qatar? Well, uh, as the official sources, uh, as uh, they have uh, indicated that there is some documentation work that is pending and that is why this 8th Navy person has not returned home. Uh, but we do know that several of them have already arrived in Delhi late uh, early this morning and uh, Indian government has also released a small statement thanking the state of Amir uh, of the Qatar to, uh, for enabling the release and homecoming of these nationals. We know that for 18 months, these people and their families, they were desperately looking forward to having them uh, released from the jail of Qatar. They were life sentences and it looked real impossible uh, for them uh, to have a smaller sentences, let alone the possibility of them being released and coming back home. But now we know that India's diplomatic outreach with the uh, with the Emir of Qatar has probably helped these Navy veterans getting freed and they, seven of them have already arrived in Delhi and they are meeting their family soon. Definitely. Abhishek, please stay with us. We have Major General Retired uh, KK Sinha joining us on the broadcast, sir. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for speaking to us. How do you see this move, a major diplomatic victory for India? Eight of our men are coming back. Uh, good morning and Jai Hind. I think it is a great, great victory for these, um, you know, eight naval veterans, for the veteran community, and also a diplomatic and political win. It has been possible only because of the direct intervention of the Prime Minister. On 2nd of December, met, he met the Sheikh Ali Tani of, uh, you know, the most modern emirate of, you know, in the West Asia of Qatar. And it is isn't possible thereafter. There was, you know, the indications were there that these people will release. You know, 18, last 18 months, they have gone to the ordeal of, you know, having the debt row, the penalty, you know, prison terms, which was converted into prison term because of the diplomatic intervention and also we got the consular access. These naval uh, veterans, they were working for the Diora Global Company, as we all know. Basically, they were doing in the, you know, this is called wave watch on the warships. And also they were training the cadets of the Qataris Navy. They were implicated because of uh, something to do with passing some secret, they say, of the submarine deal with, uh, to Israel. This was all allegations because this is the power play which takes place in the West Asia. It is something like Kalbushan, you know, who has been <coughs> taken uh, by these, you know, Pakistanis from Chabahar area. It's something like this because mm. it will come up. Now, these seven of them have been back. One who the senior most, probably he will be also be coming back very soon and joining the family. It's a great, great, huge victory because we, are, we understand as a veteran what exactly goes when you actually go outside. Because if India has to have his power, the hard power play, the veteran has got a great role because they have got expertise and that's why they have gone over there. But the people play this game. I mean, in Qatar, they were able to play. These people were implicated. Now we have got the win just because of our leadership. Definitely, Mr. Sinha. Please stay with us. We have retired Major General A.K. Sivad joining us on the broadcast as well. Sir, thank you so much for speaking to us. How would you react to this major and uh, uh, big, big uh, diplomatic triumph that India just got? Well, one can say it's one of the best news which one has received. Uh, no doubt about it uh, that all the naval officers have been now released and seven of them have come back and one will be coming shortly. You know, this is a diplomatic and our government victory. And this has all been possible due to direct intervention of Prime Minister Modi. And the type of relation which we now have with uh, Qatar and the type of uh, our uh, relationship as well as our, um, you can say, bon homie which we have with all the nations of uh, West Asia as well as of basically of all other uh, countries. The point here to be noted that these naval officers uh, were uh, not doing anything which is not required. They were only training the cadets 
uh, all this has been done uh, by the ISI. They are the one which were playing there, and they are the one which have given a, a wrong information to Qatar government, and due to which uh, they were inducted, and then they were given a punishment which no one could have realized it. They were given a death sentence. It is only the Indian government and the diplomacy which played a very major role. It can now be shown and uh, that it's a total victory of Indian diplomacy and also our leadership. You see, the point today is that India is one country that we have the best of the relation with everyone in, in, in West Asia. It is uh, basically Israel also we have best relation with Saudi, we have best relation with UAE, we have also good relation with Iran. So therefore, the today as uh, uh, the country which is having the best relation with all this and a uh, Prime Minister Modi, uh, who is a very tall leader in the world uh, scenario, has hmm. made a difference. But overall, one can say extremely good news. And this was putting us under a lot of tremendous pressure for last about a year plus wherein they, they were sentenced to uh, death and thereafter that punishment was reduced. The punishment was reduced to uh, uh, basically imprisonment, but finally they have been released. I can say that is the best news one can possibly think about it. Definitely. It, it's a victory of Indian diplomacy and victory of Indian leadership. Definitely. Major General A.K. Sivach and Major General K.K. Sena, thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18.